Welcome back to another series of African leafy vegetable. Today we are going to be talking about production of sageti, spider plant. What you need? You need seeds, quality seeds. For half an acre piece of land, you will need about three cups or four cups of sageti. You will need the land tilled properly. That is about 3,000 as we had calculated before. But this time around you will not make furrows. This time around you will make beds. How do we make the beds? The beds are measured one and a half meters width and the length to your desire, to your preferred or whatever management size you can. After making the seed bed, you come with your manure. The most preferably we use chicken manure. This is because it is easy to spread it and also it is in small particles. We make the seed bed, we add in manure, we mix the manure and lime with, with, the, with the soil and after that you broadcast your seed and then lightly you take a tree leaves and you swipe. You sweep on top of the seed bed just lightly to cover lightly the seeds after which you will irrigate properly and leave it to germinate. You will plant it any time of the day. It doesn't have a required time to plant it, but irrigating it will be done early in the morning or late in the evening. Sageti management. How do you manage sageti? Once you've broadcasted and the seed has germinated, it which normally takes about four days. After germination, the plant goes, grows really fast. It will take only three weeks to maturity. But maintenance, you need to go squatting and look for pests, infestation and disease infestation. Sageti is affected. It is, uh, it is affected by amphids as well and thrips. It is also affected by uh, fungal diseases such as downy medium. And how you identify pests and diseases in Sageti is by checking at the leaves condition. For example, this is greatly eaten by worms. We have cutworms that, and caterpillar that feeds on the, the leaves. And for a farmer, if you don't scout this early enough, this will lead to losses. We have amphids and you can see them at the lower part of the leaf. That is where you identify your pests. We have the green amphids in this. Uh, how to identify uh, mildew? Downy mildew is one of the diseases that uh, is fungal disease that affects the sagets. And how you identify it, you will notice that the leaf starts to turn yellow and on the leaf you will see marking of rusts. Also the yellowness can be caused by the red spider mite and you can see webs on the leaf, the lower part of the leaf will have webs, kind of webs, those are spider mites as well as amphids. So these are the diseases and the pests that greatly affect the, the, the sageti. Another practice that is used in the management of sageti is weeding. You need to remove the weeds so that the, 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 the stock will be stronger and will remove more suckers for greater output. Application of manure. How do you need to apply your manure? Application of manure will depend also again with how fertile your land is. But normally you will need about uh, uh, 8 sacks or 8 to 10 sacks of chicken manure. And chicken manure have grades. Make sure when you're buying chicken manure, you do not buy manure that has uh, wood, wood husks. That is the mura, they call it mura. Make sure you buy the real manure. Because if you, you buy the one that has husk, they will be competing with the manure to decompose. A lot of pests will be attracted to your farm. So maybe once you have prepared the manure and the soil mixture, depending to how fertile your land is, then broadcast your seeds. These seeds, after they have germinated, they are not transplanted like managu. They are left there to grow to maturity, of which they will be they will be harvested by completely uprooting up, up to the root. So once you plant after 28 days, you completely harvest everything, clear the chamber and replant again. For a half an acre piece of land, you will need about two tons of manure. That costs, costs about 8k here. 
it depends the prices depend on where you are located but that is enough for half an acre planting saga you mix well with the soil and then you broadcast your seed the market how do you market saga uh, those people who understand how saga is cooked some people prefer to make sageti as saga alone and some will mix it with other indigenous vegetables and that is the relationship that a farmer needs to understand what 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 vegetable relates or what complements the other vegetable so saga can be done alone or saga can be complemented with other vegetables to person's preference our market uh, is also we have three markets depending on the grade of them of the sageti and grade 1 of sageti goes for about 80 shillings a kilo well grade 3 goes for about 35 on the minimum per kilo my major buyers are people who process these vegetables and freeze them to sell to people who understand the vegetable because there is a, a certain ethnicity in Kenya that appreciate a lot the vegetable so you'll find we sell to people who prepare it and freeze it and stock it to their to and deliver them to their customers if you are really interested in production of sageti these are what you need to know the market is there what you need to know is connecting and getting the right information on where to sell your produce. The market is readily there. Produce your vegetable well. Quality vegetable to earn you better prices. For better practices on production of quality sageti, contact me. Reach us for training. Uh, our number is 0758 5532. Also visit our Facebook page that is Kenyaji Veggies and we'll get right back to you. Vegetable production, your, your preferred type of vegetables from the sourcing of the seeds to the, the market. Uh, come let's train you on being an agripreneur and a token is given for everyone who's watching this video. So please comment, like, subscribe and share in our next video we'll be talking about how to produce kanzilla that's the ethiopian mustard aka skuma without acid make sure you subscribe share like and comment so that you don't miss the next video